Marissa Gru. I'm also known as an artist, Marissa Hungry Wolf and Oja Beauty. The Hunger Wolf name came from the fact that I'm an, an indigenous woman, but showing up to interviews, they would assume that I'm Caucasian by doing a meaning what my last name is. Apparently it's German translated into French Canadian and it meant hunger of a wolf. So I put Marissa Hungry Wolf. So that's where it came from. I come from a family of long line of artists, I should say. Um, a lot of the artists that didn't even take the path of being creative in their gifts, I guess. I guess some of them went down roads where it was safe, but I feel like I have a big calling towards my creativity. As much as I hold it back, and pursuing something safe, I, it still calls me no matter what. I've been trying to think about the right answer to for certain things around my creativity and my skills and what I want to do. It always revolves around creativity and me using my hands towards something and to make something. I was born to create things. And that's something I definitely know about myself. And I come from, like I said, a long line of artists. And I think it's just my time to like let them know that I'm a very creative person and I'm done holding back my stuff. With growing up, um, I've always been like the only Indigenous person in my classroom. Regardless of where I was, I was always the only one. So that kind of put me in my own kind of place um, within my classroom. So I always had to reach out to research things for myself in order to maybe just understand my culture in general. Um, when people would come seek out questions from me, I'd be like the go-to person. So I'd have to do extra work just for myself to find out my own culture. I was always the go-to. Even when it came down to learning specific skills in art, it was me reaching out to find those skills in order to do something like painting, um, quill making, beading, came to leather work, anything around that. It was me reaching out to make sure that I have those skills for myself. But I'm starting to realize as I get older, there's older generations going away and it's up to individuals like myself in order to take those places in order to pass it down to the youth. And I have children, so it kind of makes sense to me that I should start doing this. Um, I just feel like the fact that I reached out to all these skills, it's kind of painting my path to the things that I need to be doing. I know I've been withholding a lot of my art within my side myself and all my creativity, but when I really look at my life, it, it's all pointing towards like a teaching kind of like calling and being able to express myself a lot. And this is it. So if you're gonna hear the name Marissa Grew, you're gonna be seeing a lot of my creativity that I've been holding back. I have to say through my experience as being indigenous, I've gone to rooms where I felt very unwanted. Meanwhile, I know I've made my way, I know I've gained my weight into those rooms. And I feel like as an indigenous person and the things that we've been through as indigenous people, that I should become more comfortable in those rooms for the people that are gonna be coming after me. And I should be coaching those individuals as well to know, understand that with being in those lights that you've made your way to those lights. So be comfortable. You're going to have people like me because I'm going to be a person that's going to encourage all those people because I know I was once one of those people. I just want our people to be really comfortable in those types of settings just because I know exactly how it feels and it's not a good feeling. But when there's actually individuals that will come forward saying that they're indigenous in those environments, it's a really comforting feeling to know that they're there behind me, backing me up. And I really wanna encourage that in, inside those in, like situations. I just know and I hope that that goes away sometime. A lot of us are being pushed in environments that are where we haven't trekked before. So I think when we start trekking in those environments that we have to start 
understanding the things that come along with those and then being able to talk to the community about those things and then getting the encouragement from people in those communities as well. And I think as a whole, we should be all coming together regardless of the situations that we come in instead of maybe ostracizing people that are choosing different fruits in their paths. And I think the paths that we all choose are making us more of a powerful people if we all think about it. I just know that I was very creative, but you know, you don't really get that motivation um, from people because you're such a creative person and a lot of people tie it as in you're not gonna have too much of a future in your creativity. But I think for me, when I came across certain individuals, um, they kind of pushed me to be more than I thought I was. And I have to use Humber as an example, um, coming to the ARC and just presenting my artwork in general, they kind of pushed me towards being more artistic. Like they saw it more than I did. And I think they see more of the joy in me when I do express it. And when I really look at it, I didn't really see that much other than the fact that I'm just trying to get this business degree and I just want something safe in a sense. But everything's earing towards my creativity. My daughter also is always so surprised at the fact that I can do so many things. She's always saying that I'm so good at doing this and that. Am I gonna be that good when I'm that age? I'm like, of course you are. Like, it's just like you're still young and I'll always encourage you to do whatever you feel like is best for you. And creativity is just one of my things. It can be one of your things or anybody has something that they're really good at and mine's just creativity. But for me to keep on pursuing that, it just shows her that I'm stepping towards something that's gifted to me and I wanna make sure that I'm honoring that gift in a sense to not just myself, but to my community and my kids, to seeing that I step towards a dream that a lot of people fear stepping towards and thinking that they're not gonna make a living out of it, but it's definitely there. I just wanna make sure that fear is gone. I feel like I always leave a trail of like people knowing that I can make something very nice. I think I've already left that and I kind of leave it anywhere. Just as when I left elementary, when I left high school, they still use examples of my artwork to this day in those schools that it's kind of weird to me. I'm always saying stuff about creativity just because it's something I, I held back so much of myself. I can only say that all so many times, but like it's true. Like I kept it so held inside me to the point where I think I was kind of holding my own self back from being who I really am. And I don't want that to happen to anybody else. I don't want that fear building up in somebody thinking that they're not gonna be capable of doing or expressing their gifts, especially my kids. I'm just showing them that you are gifted with something, you just have to find it. And when you find it, it's gonna make you more happy than you think. is going to be hard I just know from my own experience it was hard take the support that you can <laughs> but just know that support can only go so much way too it's ultimately up to you to take the first steps towards anything to make anything happen down to your first idea down to putting it on paper and putting actions towards it. It's all up to you making something physically there in front of you. But it all it's all up to you to take those first steps. Because all I know is that you can have all the support in the world, but it still takes you to take those first steps for yourself to make that change. <laughs>